And now, a Zone at 91.3, 91 Second Movie Review. Five, four, three, two, and... Action! Jake Gyllenhaal produces and stars in this thriller that follows a 911 operator who's trying to save a caller in grave danger. As a carbon copy remake of a 2018 Danish film with the same title, The Guilty seems like an ego-boosting vanity project for Gyllenhaal to put his acting chops on full display. It kind of worked. Gyllenhaal shows us just how flawlessly he could carry an entire flick through his emotional delivery and expressive reactions. It's essentially a single set monologue where the tension and anxiety is driven by the performance of our main player. That being said, it wasn't all Gyllenhaal. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. The cast of voice actors were phenomenal as well. Coupled with an amazing sound mix, no less effective through a phone filter by the way, the roster of vocal talent including Ethan Hawke, Riley Keough, Peter Sarsgaard, and Paul Dano helped paint a picture of a terrifying story that's unfolding outside the walls of the call center. The plot is very much a mystery that gets unraveled through the course of the film, and just when we think we know the full scope of the situation, a curveball gets thrown that ramps the tension up even further. There were a few times within the 90 minutes where I found myself distracted and taken out of the story. The first and most minor of this was the points in the film that had me frustratingly questioning the credibility and decisions of our protagonist. The second was the passage of time. While the whole thing seemed like it was taking place in real time, we noticed after the climax that about 4 hours had passed. It definitely became a distraction but these are really just nitpicks. Overall, The Guilty is a well-crafted, stressful, and thrilling ride that shows us Hollywood's ability to make a decent carbon copy and Hall's ability to bench press an entire film with his acting muscles. Cut! That's a wrap!